What's up guys, it's Easy. Welcome to Easy Street Gaming. Doing the first of its kind from this channel. I'm gonna be comparing all of the legendary cards and ranking them from 1 to 13. We're leaving out the, the newest card because it's so new, the, the Royal Ghost. On the screen right now is all of the different categories that we ranked each card. So every one of these categories, we ranked them from 1 to 13. And at the end of it, we had, we tabulated it all. And this is what we came up with. Number 13 was the Lumberjack. The Lumberjack's special ability is Rage. He drops that Rage potion when he dies in battle. The Lumberjack's weakness is any air troop or hordes of any troop. Which we all know. And if you, now if you look at the way this page is, is set up, on the left hand side you'll see the three different colors of strength, uh, above average, below average, weaknesses. And those colors are actually represented in the numbers to the right, on the right hand side where you see offense, defense, attack versatility, uh, solo KO, defense against, easy to use. These are all the different things that we rated, r rated them or ranked them with. And what we've done also is we have several replays of the troop in action and we kind of cut out the rest of the attack or the rest of the battle. We just, just uh, some highlights. <clears throat> and uh, ironically, this is not necessarily how I would rank these 13 cards. Uh, as a matter of fact, now it's not too much different. I, I don't know if I would have not put the Lumber Jack as 13. Uh, and so be mindful that you may lie you you may rank them a little bit differently but we took a pretty in-depth look at how they compared to other cards and using 10 different points of analysis so we think we've got it pretty much covered and the list is actually I, I, I'd say it's it's pretty good number 12 is the bandit and what I've done also is I have they are, every single one of the legendary cards has a special ability. Some of them have several, and they all have very specific weaknesses kind of embedded in their AI. So the bandit special ability is dash. Uh, she can dash several times in a row, and can't get damaged inside her dash ability. And the bandit's weakness is very similar to the to the lumberjack's uh, weakness. She has a weakness against air troops or hordes of any troop, and. If you've ever used the bandit she actually has a very specific strength as well and that's she's she's really strong in the pocket in other words if you have taken out one of the princess towers you can drop her right in front of the main tower and the second you drop her she goes into dash mode and it's really hard to stop that chip damage that she does at that point uh, coming in at number 11 was the ice wizard the ice wizard has a special ability of freeze uh, the Ice Wizard can slow down groups of troops with this splash freeze effect that he has. His weakness is that he deals real low damage. And he actually does pretty well against the hoarding troops. Uh, so let's say, for example, you have Minion Horde, which, uh, you know, Minion Horde has is the death of many different strong troops. Well, he two shots the minion horde, and I don't think he can take out the whole thing at once. I think he it's like four shots. He takes out the whole minion horde, and he's a the ice wizard is, a, is an excellent companion troop. So you can't necessarily um, expect too much out of him by himself. There, there you see him taking out two skeletons at one time. Yeah, you can't really take a lot of him by, by himself. Talking through that. <laughs> Okay, coming in at number 10 is Sparky. Sparky's special ability is a, is a power surge, which we've all seen Sparky's power surge. Uh, Sparky deals out incredible damage, but his weakness is that he can't shoot at any air troops, and his recharge is slow, and he also goes through a reset with any kind of spark, so... Uh, the Electro Wizard completely shuts him down. He can't use his ability at all. He can't he he can't shoot with the Electro Wizard. Um, Zap makes him reset, and he also ha he can't shoot any air troops. I don't know if I said that already. Did I say he can't target any air troops? 
So he has a hard time against hoarding troops, has a hard time against air troops, and any kind of lightning based attack makes him reset. The new zappies are uh, pretty much like useless, but massive, massive power. Coming at number nine, and this is, I, I'd say, out of this list, this might be the most controversial card because Graveyard in the right hands is a deadly card. Uh, but Graveyard. It spawns a uh, skeleton army anywhere on the, in the arena. Uh, its weakness is that it spawns skeletons. <laughs> and skeletons are easily destroyed. They can't defend against or engage against air troops. Now, in, like I was saying earlier, in the right hands, you can use graveyard in combination with a tank. Or in combination with the miner and poison. And do great chip damage with it. Uh, yes, there's a lot of different defenses that people can pull on you. They can drop uh, a horde on top of them. They can drop the Valkyrie. They can drop uh, the the air machine. There's a bunch of different ways to defend against it, but they are still deadly. There's a good example right there. Easily takes out that tower. Coming in at number eight is the miner. Miner spawns anywhere in the arena. The miner's weakness is that he cannot engage air troops. And he deals low damage. And he can't really deal with any kind of swarming or hoarding troop either. But what he does do is he is the great distraction in the game. You can use the miner in combination with the poison spell and and do chip damage with it at any time. And you can you also use him right before the impact of another heavy hitting troop. Like right there you saw the prince charging down the left hand lane and you you put the miner in before the prince gets to the building and turns at, th at that point the princess tower turns just don't have enough time <laughs> coming in at number seven is the lava hound once the lava hound is destroyed it pops into many lava pups prolonging the attack the lava hound's weakness is that he cannot defend himself until he's in the pup stage which can be problematic against the right defender Right here you'll see this this person easily dismantled the Lava Hound every single time he went down the lane. But now he is also part of the Laloon. And I'm telling you the Laloon might be... It's It's got to be one of the strongest attacks in Clash Royale just like it is in Cl Clash of Clans. Uh, you ha have to know how to use it because I've tried it and I suck at it. But it's still super strong. Uh, the pups, you, if you use a freeze spell or you use a rage spell or a clone spell, they are deadly. Just have to make sure that you shed any kind of air targeting defense off it, troop off it. This is kind of a surprise for me to make so high on the list, but at number six was the log. Log is indestructible, that's a special ability, but it can only do limited damage and it only to ground units, but it does kill all single housing space troops and, and also kills a princess. So it, it kills a legendary troop on contact and we, we know that the Log is, is a great defender against the, the massive hordes, especially against players that uh, will use the Goblin Barrel and and use uh, like let's say the skeleton uh, the, the skeleton army Skarmy or they'll they have the goblin hut they use all the different huts so real important also and this is something that's overlooked a lot with log is that you can use it on a push like a hog rider push if you as kind of a last resort and you'll do just enough damage to the hog rider to minimize the damage that he does on the tower and so that that's one thing that it's good at. It's automatic damage, and it doesn't take it doesn't take any kind of skill or strategy. It's going to hit the target every time. There's no distracting it, so it's real simple to use. So that's one of the it's really versatile. You, you see there, it got a 13 in versatility, so that's number one. Uh, the the cost is two. Damage against it's kind of, that's kind of a, a defense against. There is no defense against log, so that's kind of. Um, I think that's why it made it so high on the list. Kind of a, kind of a, a bit of a false, um, I don't know. Don't know if I really like that.
but when I was th I was thinking, how do you defend against the log? You can't. It's one of those things you cannot defend against. Then you see a takeout princess. Coming in at number five is the princess. Princess deals out splash damage with her long range fiery bow. Does about the has about the same range as a, as a the mortar. Not exactly positive, but she can shoot from the backside, uh, backside of the bridge. And I don't know of any other troop that can do that. Uh, now, Princess, her weakness is that she's got low hit points, so that, like, just like mentioned before, the log can take her out. But there are so many applications that Princess is excellent in. One of them is the combination of Princess and Tornado. Uh, you can use a tornado to pull a bunch of troops together and then use princess to damage them all and even though she's not doing a ton of damage uh, she, she can damage everything at one time because those are those those arrows deliver splash damage so really powerful troop plus when you're in the double elixir mode you'll start to generate a lot of princesses if you are using her in cycle and just constantly pumping her out the second you see her uh, it's not unusual to see three or four on the board at one time if you can spread her out and they and you don't have someone that's logging her the second that you, they, they put her in but the, now all spells are effective against her they pretty much all work against her arrows kill her I believe on contact small zap does not unless you're a couple levels above your opponent I I, I think I, I don't even know if, if uh, the small zap will take her out period but due to her range huge asset one of my favorite troops she had ended up being my very first legendary card so I have a lot of experience with her and um, probably one of the most underrated cards there is coming in at number five only lead in the elixir cost because she's a three and for the damage that she does and for the applications that you can use her in it, it it's a steal it's just <laughs> Just to lead in one category. Starting to get in the heavy hitters. I think any one of these top four could be number one. Personally. Coming in at number four is the Mega Knight. Mega Knight special ability is this crushing entrance damage. And that's when you first deploy the card. In addition to that he can attack several troops at one time. There you see him take out Pekka. Just in, just in the damage he delivers when he lands. Uh, if you've ever had the uh, elite barbarians attack you, those are two different troops at one time. You can drop Mega Knight and he will attack both of them at one time. Uh, unlike the Pekka, that would immediately be eliminated by this uh, by the Skarmy. Mega Knight will jump up and re-damage everything. He'll he'll use that jumping attack when he's attacked by a horde. So that's a huge difference between the Mega Knight and and Pekka. Although he doesn't do quite the same damage that Pekka does, he may be one of the biggest tower taking troops there are. Coming in at number three, if I was to choose this would probably be my number one just because of how effective it is for me and just for everyone out there to know while we were filming this video we filmed about at, for an hour and a half to get all the different replays there were more towers taken by Inferno Dragon than anything else by far I think Inferno Dragon sold I think like 11 or 12 towers so Inferno Dragon special ability is the Inferno supercharge attack that slowly builds up an incredible amount of damage per second Inferno Dragon's weakness is against any kind of horde troop in the air and the distraction factor for any kind of horde troop on the ground. So Infernal Dragon's easily distracted on the ground unless he's already engaged. Uh, now another semi weakness is the zap effect. Uh, zap resets the Infernal Dragon. So Electro Wizard is very effective against the Infernal Dragon. And he also, you know, the Infernal Dragon struggles against multiple troops of any kind. Bats are effective against it. So you'll have a negative elixir exchange if you use the infernal dragon and they put bats in 
because he'll have a hard time taking out all four bats. If he does take out all four bats, the, the tower will one or two shot him and he'll die. But on the other side, if you get any kind of troop to tank for the Infernal Dragon, you are not only going to take one tower, but you have a you have a chance that if you have any kind of complementary spells like like uh, freeze, you might take both towers. He Infernal Dragon is that good in the right hands of the right user. Coming in at number two, our, this is another card. It, it, I'm sure many would have this card at number one. Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard has several special abilities. First, he deals initial damage when he drops down into the arena. He can attack multiple targets from bo both in front and behind him simultaneously. And his zap will reset the Infernal Dragon, the Infernal Tower. Uh, Sparky. Completely disables Sparky. The Electro Wizard really only struggles with large hoarding troops. Uh, they can take him out. You know, a skeleton army does... We'll, we'll take out the Electro Wizard. Also, once some of these big melee tr uh, cards get up close, you know, he's going to get four or five hits in on some of them, but Pekka will, will annihilate him up close. The, you know, really the Knight will, the Mega Knight will, any, any kind of melee troop that gets up close to him will, will, get the, get, will be able to edge the Electro Wizard. His big advantage, though, is every time you drop him in, he will, he can immediately damage. I think I've tried to talk through every one of those little things. <laughs> Number one, this is not a not a big surprise. Night Witch. Night Witch spawns bats as her special ability, along with turning into a bat swarm herself when she dies. Uh, spells like Fireball Poison and Ranged Attack give the Night Witch the most trouble, along with different hoarding troops, especially from the sky. Unlike the Witch that seems to manage these hoarding troops much better than the Night Witch, She's, she will have a, she struggles against like skeleton army uh, minions definitely and what her her biggest benefit is not by herself um, now we were trying to get some really good replays of the night witch taking out towers because we've all seen her do it we've all seen what she can do problem is is that she attracts a ton of attention and most every time that I drop the night witch in they were all over her. Uh, which is, I think, why when the Night Witch and Infernal Dragon were both in the same in, in the attack at the same time, the Infernal Dragon did so well because they kept the, most of their attention on the Night Witch. If the Night Witch gets on a tower with any kind of tanking troop with her, then she'll continually spawn the bats. And even when she, once she dies, she turns into the bat swarm, and they just they they have an, they do an incredible amount of damage very fast. So she is one of those notorious cards that. If she gets on the Princess Tower, takes it out with any kind of assistance, she can go on and move on and take out the main tower as well. So, um, very dangerous card in the right user's hands that is able, especially in Double Elixir, to, to spawn, uh, I believe the number one attack in the meta right now is probably Gollum Night Witch. So you have Gollum in there and you put the Night Witch behind him and you back it up with another Night Witch or another Golem and you keep a steady flow of these Golems and Night Witches coming in double elixir mode they're pretty much unstoppable I think the best way to defend against that attack is to ignore Golem for a minute and just attack the Night Witch that seems to be works the best when I'm using it but still as soon as I as soon as I am in sync this is a hard attack for anyone to stop so deserving at number one I think Electro Wizard could be number one too. Here's a list of all of them right here. So different kind of video. Wanted to do mix things up a little bit at the beginning of the year and start to have a build a little foundation in Clash Royale. Have a ton of Clash of Clans content on the site, but don't have many Clash Royale. So trying to build it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are always trying to build bigger and better videos. So it's going to be an interesting year. Hope you can join me. I appreciate everyone for watching. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. <laughs>
Gotcha. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo,